starting screen recording in three, two, one. Hey guys, welcome to Canadians React. My name is Adam, I am Canadian, and today we're gonna to be reacting to a video called 15 Things You Don't Know About the USA. Now, I've been to the US a lot, I have family from the US, so I think I have a pretty good understanding of the US, so I'm really curious to see what they have to say. Before we begin guys, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel of Canadians React, and don't forget to turn on the little bell for notifications. All right guys, let's get into it. You know that the US flag is red, white, and blue, yeah. But do you know these 15 other things? Let's talk about that. Good, Good mythical. mythical morning. All right, it's time to play a game and we invite you to play along with us regardless of what country you come from and you're in at Canada. the moment. This game is going to be all about the United States of America because that's where we're at and we're hoping we'll do well because of that. <laughs> but we may not. Okay, here, here's, the, here's the back story. Jason, who's standing behind the camera right now, has a girlfriend. Good, first of all, good job, Jason. Never thought it would happen, but and you know what? Second of all, <laughs> it could happen to anyone. <laughs> uh, but here's the catch. She's Canadian. Oh, oh, really? I, uh, actually, I knew that. Okay, Rude. so, correct me if I'm wrong, Jason, but basically you have witnessed her starting to go through a process to become a U.S. citizen. There are three phases. She just completed phase one. Phase one, and to celebrate that, you guys had a party. An American party. We had a welcome to America party. Um, <laughs> and you made up a quiz of uh, facts that you thought that she wouldn't know. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And that would be fun. Exactly. So we're not going to play this game because you did not invite us to the party. Uh, we do not know the questions. Or the answers. So we're gonna play the game, and the winner gets to be the American of the day on uh, With GMA. a celebratory ceremony at the end. Yeah. Um, okay. Let's see how I do. I'll gladly do that. <laughs> All right, so what is this, 15 questions? 15 questions, multiple choice. Stevie, you're keeping score, and you are American. So you're not biased. <laughs> and I know people get offended when you say American, and you're- You're North American. You're. You are from the United, United States. States of America. Because <laughs> Cana Can Canada's in Canada. Canada. <laughs> I'm going to do awesome at this. Yeah, right. All right. So uh, A, B, C, D, D. Uh, multiple choice. You can play along in the comfort of wherever you are right now. Just be comfortable. Let's do it. In my basement. The first president of the United States, George Washington, made a lot of money by doing what? A, producing whiskey. B, growing hemp. C, writing newspaper articles, or D, soldier of fortune? Answer in three, two, one. B, a. Hemp. he was a hemp master. The correct answer is A, mm. producing whiskey. Yes! <laughs> we both wanted to I beat be the Americans. I thought he was a farmer. How many donuts are consumed by Americans each year? Not as many as Canadians. A, For, per person. B, two billion. C, 10 billion or D, three? I would Answer say C. Three, two, one. A, C. The correct answer is C, 10 billion it's, donuts. I knew it had to be that extreme because there's over I, I thought it was gonna be 500 million people in the US. Then, you know, I thought you were doing that to me. That's a lot of donuts. The most dangerous job in the United States is A, fisherman. B, fisherman. Logging. Fisherman. <laughs> yeah, see, he picked up what on it. Fisherman? What's a fisherman? Like a fisherman? I think he's a fisherman. Yeah, fisherman, sorry. Yeah. C, airline pilot, or D, roofers? Answer in three, two, one. B. Logging. Logger. Yeah. You are both correct. Oh, yeah! That's yeah. right, brother. Total of 68. I just like to point out that I'm three for three right now and I'm beating the Americans. Logging deaths last year. Because the logs are always moving, being yeah. swung. And I stuff. get hurt every time I go logging. 35 million <laughs> Americans shared their DNA with who? Their cousin. <laughs> A. Native Americans. B. The Mayflower Pilgrims. C. Thomas Jefferson. And D. Can Canadians. <laughs> Canadians. B? Answer in three, two, one. B. D, Canadian oh. audience. Really? The correct answer is B, the Mayflower Pilgrims. What? What? 35 million people. 
Yes. It could be one of us. We're pilgrims. It's occurring to me that he's just making all this up. <laughs> no, he, he used he used data. I honestly had no clue of that, but it just like with America's love of of uh, Thanksgiving traditions, I thought pilgrims, maybe th there's some connection there. Many things are hidden on the American $1 bill. Oh, I used to know this. A, a musket. B, a spider. C, a lightning bolt. Or D, a map. Okay, I need some time to think about this. A musket would make sense because it's very American to have a gun. <laughs> a spider, I don't know. A map. I don't know. I think it might be, I, I want to say musket, but I feel like that's too obvious. Answer in three, two, one. C, oh. spider. Or A. I know about this. The a. correct answer is B, a spider. Oh. Dang it. You're just freaking guessing. Can you no, show I it? I look at my money all the time. Where, where is the spider? It's somewhere on the money. Ah. You got to look really hard. He's guessing. During World War II, <laughs> the Japanese attacked the United States in a strange way by doing what? A, mailing random Americans exploding packages. B, dumping raw sewage from planes on U.S. Navy ships. C, Sending Japanese motorcycles armed with explosives across the Canadian border, or D, floating hot air balloons with bombs over the country. Answer in three, I have no idea. two, one. I'm going with feces. C, C the sewage thing. The correct answer is D, floating hot air balloons with bombs over the country. Wow, that's smart. Over our country? Yeah, there are 300 balloons fan found scattered across the western United States, including wow. Oregon. The most popular name for dogs in the United States currently is A. Bella, B, Max, C, Toby, or D, Rocky? Rocky. Answer in three, two, D. one. I don't know how to... A, D, D. The correct D. answer is A, Bella. Uh, yes. Max is a close second. People name their dog. Keep it Bella? coming. Bella? 26 of the 50 United States are listed on the back of the United States $5 bill. Which of these is not one of them? <sighs> a, Arkansas, B, Colorado, C, Rhode Island, or D, Wisconsin? All right, let me see. Um, 26 of the 50 U.S. states are listed on the back of what U.S. $5 bill. Which of these is not? Uh, Rhode Island? I think it's C. Answer in three, two, one. B. I said B, B too, but correct I don't know. Wisconsin is C, Rhode Island. Yes, I got it. Oh, yeah, I, yeah. Because I thought it was. I think I'm two up on newer. these guys right now. State was newer. Our eighth president, Martin Van Buren, oh, my favorite, was the first president to not be what? A, a plantation owner. B, a British subject. C, a member of Congress. Or D, a soldier. I want to say three, A, two, one. D, A. The correct answer is B, a British subject. Oh, got it wrong. Wow. Okay. I thought he was got it wrong, wrong. too. Yeah, I'm still two up, up on these guys. Uh, I didn't think they'd have been to Congress. What <clears> was <throat> America's crazy military strategy to win the War of 1812? A, build a rock and wood obstacle course in the Atlantic Ocean to block British ships. B, to convince the Native American population of Canada to fight against the British. C, to invade and seize all of Canada for America. Or D, to convince Napoleon to invade Britain so British forces would stop attacking C. America? Uh. Answer in three, two, one. C. Obstacle course. Native Americans get involved. The correct answer is C, to invade and seize all of Canada for America. Oh, you can do that anytime you want. You can invade Canada. That needs to be like, they're, okay. They're begging for it, eh? President John Adams was the first U.S. president to do what? A, declare war on another country. B, travel abroad, C, not wear a powdered wig, or D, have a fireworks display at the White House. Declare war on a Answer country. In three, two, one. A. C. A. The correct answer is D, mm. have oh. a fireworks display at the White House. We're equally bad. I'm, you're a little bit worse than me right now, but that doesn't mean it's going to hold up. In a recent study, and a Canadian 52% percent of Americans... I just like to point out, a Canadian is also beating you that were polled believe blank was easier than figuring out how to eat healthy. A, repairing their own car, B, doing their own taxes, C, high school geometry, hmm. or D, naming all the United States presidents. 
In a recent study, 52% of all Americans that were polled believed repairing their car was easier than figuring out how to eat healthy, doing their own taxes. Uh, A. Answer in three, two, one. C. A. Taxes. The correct answer is B. Taxes. Uh. Yeah. You're a guessing fool, man. Oh, man, people of luck think they, they can do the tax, but they can't. Uncle Sam was popularized during what war? A, World War II, B, the Galactic Civil War, C, the American Civil War, or D, the War of 1812? I would say A. In three, two, one. A. Correct answer is D, the War of 1812. Ooh, I could have got ahead on that. Wow. Nowhere. Which, by the way, the War of 1812, Canada burned down the White House. But I know all the people in the comments are going to say it was the British. In the United States Constitution, does it say what? A, that citizens have the right to vote. B, that U.S. Supreme Court justices must have legal training. C, the phrase, the United States of America. Or D, that a U.S. president must be 35 years old. E. Answer in three, two, one. We'll go with that one. I'm going to go with the 35 president. The correct answer is B, that U.S. Yes. Supreme Court Justice must have legal training. <clears throat> he was a Supreme Court Justice who had no education. What lies at the feet of the Statue of Liberty? A, nothing. B, flowers. Sandals. C, chain shackles. Or D, Plymouth Rock. Um, D? Answer in three, two, one. One. Nothing. D. The Plymouth correct Rock. answer is C, chain shackles. You've been there. I haven't <laughs> been there. To the Statue of Liberty. I thought you said D. I've seen it. We didn't go to it. I went Well, D. you still win, but you did it. Uh, I still won. Hi, video editor Adam here. Uh, as I'm watching this episode now, he did say D, same as me, and I got it wrong because... They said that it's changed shackles, and then it switched from four to five, and that he was the winner. Doesn't make sense. Anyways, did anyone else catch that? All right, back to the show. But hold on. Let's point out the Canadian beat these two Americans, okay? Just saying that. Hi, America. Uh, I'm the best American. I just want to say Speech. that, uh, you know, <laughs> these are awesome flags, first of all. And I am especially fond of corrugated flags. But listen, it's not easy being such a great American. I mean, um, <laughs> n knowing, I mean, it takes, uh, it takes a committed American patriotic spirit to know like 30% of, a lot of good, you gotta be a good guesser. the questions and to occasionally get a correct guess. But hey, you know what? Be willing to uh, act like you knew things that you were only shooting in the dark about. All and right, so guys, Clearly, uh, these Americans need to learn more about their own country because a Canadian uh, beat them by at least two points, I think. Maybe one or two. I wasn't really keeping count, but I'm sure you were. I know that I was ahead of them, so uh, sorry, guys. Just like we burned down your White House, we, I, the Canadians beat you today. So how many did you guys get right? Are you American? Are you Canadian? Are you Australian? Are you New Zealand? Are you British? Uh, tell me where you're from. Let me know how many you got right down below in the comment section. Uh, before I head out, check out okanshop.com, punch in uh, Canadians React, and you'll get 15% off your entire order uh, and get some sweet Canadian merch. All right, guys, that's it for my show today. Have a great day, and I'll see you on the next one.